Wheat or no wheat, that is the question. Wheat had quite a bad rap in the past decades, and it is becoming quite a controversial topic these days. This is because wheat contains a protein called gluten, and more and more people are becoming gluten intolerant and have celiac disease. And this means that they can't eat any products that contain gluten. Wheat is also linked to digestive issues, allergies and IBS. Hi guys, I'm Agnes from Bites Fitness and in this video we are talking about the positive effects and the downsides of wheat and whole wheat and whether you should eat them or not. Despite the bad rap, wheat is still the most commonly and widely used grain type around the world. Bread wheat is the most common, but there are other types as well. Durum, einkorn and spelt wheat are also popular, pasta is often made of them. Wheat and whole wheat are mostly the main ingredient in baked goods and cookies. They are also made into pasta, noodles, bulgur and couscous. For people who are tolerant to gluten, whole wheat can be a good source of fiber, antioxidants and vitamins. Whole wheat is always a better choice than white wheat. First of all, whole wheat is high in fiber, but white wheat almost contains none. Most wheat fiber is insoluble and it might be beneficial for gut health. Although there are some soluble fibers in wheat that can cause problems to people with IBS. Overall, whole wheat products can be beneficial for gut health, they can reduce constipation and feed the good bacteria in your gut. Like other grains, wheat is mostly carbs. Like potatoes and white rice, wheat and whole wheat have high glycemic index, so they are not good for people with diabetes and insulin resistance. They make blood sugar spike after eating. The whole wheat pasta might not have the same effect, it is digested less efficiently. Whole wheat can have several health benefits because of the vitamin and mineral content. These are found in the wheat bran, which is removed when they are refining the wheat. Whole wheat contains essential minerals like selenium, manganese, phosphorus, copper and folate. Phosphorus is essential for heart health and several body functions. Although wheat contains some anti-nutrients that might prevent phosphorus to absorb properly. Folate is particularly important during pregnancy and copper is also important for a healthy diet. Whole wheat can be good for you if you consume it in moderation. If you tolerate gluten, there is no reason to avoid whole wheat in your diet. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. If you liked it, please make sure to hit the thumbs up button and also share it with a friend who might be interested in it as well. Also, if you haven't yet, please subscribe to the Bites Fitness YouTube channel because we post new videos daily. Bye! At Bite Sweetness, we help those who are just beginning or already living a healthy lifestyle, exercise regularly and make time to cook for themselves by providing health and nutrition information and healthy recipes. If you are interested, then make sure to subscribe to the Bites Fitness YouTube channel because we post new videos every single day.